Hi, it's Stephen here for Bland Designs, and I thought I would like to give you an update on what I've been doing with my art journaling. I am giving a class in art journaling at the uh, Scrapbooking Store Class Act in Oshawa that I work for, and I just thought I'd show you where I get my inspiration for this. I do love art journaling. Um, art journaling, you can't make any mistakes, and you never know what you're going to end up with. So this is what makes it look really great in my mind. This is a page that I did recently, and I was inspired to do this page by a set of uh, rubber stamps that I believe are Dina Wakeley's rubber stamps that have these ladies on them. And I hope I got the right designer for those, and if I didn't, I apologize for that. Uh, but I, I want to use them, but I wasn't sure how. So basically, I created this page, and I think it turned out very nicely. I laid down... Um, some watercolor to start with and I just used a baby wipe to spread my color all over it. That's a fast way of putting color on a background. Just use a baby wipe with any kind of uh, water soluble um, ink or paint and spread it on. Uh, I then I took uh, another stencil, a uh, music stencil in here that's in the green and I just went in with some uh, green acrylic paint. In fact I did all of this page, the whole thing is nothing but acrylic paints with the exception exception sorry oh no no it's not even exception uh, I did everything with acrylic paint I'm going to be giving a class actually showing using just acrylic paint to create these different effects so I used the acrylic paint with a baby wipe for the pink background I used acrylic paint uh, tapped on with a cosmic uh, cos makeup sponge cosmetic sponge is what I'm trying to say through that stencil I created these little black lines using an old credit card dipped in black acrylic paint. I stamped the script that's in the background again by just applying with a makeup sponge a little acrylic paint to a script stamp and stamping that on. Uh, I used these other rubber stamps of these ladies figures, uh, figures, faces, and I used blue acrylic paint with that and the little pieces of script that are in here. Another rubber stamp not sure which company that came from, but it was probably uh, a Delusions or a Ranger stamp. And I used white acrylic paint with that. So you can see that and I, oh, there's some butterflies too. I just realized that in orange. And again, everything on this page was done in acrylic paint, the whole thing. So this is something I'm going to work with with my class uh, in April, uh, that kind of thing. Some other... Uh, inspirations and where I got them from. Well, I'll show you one from the, the Delusions line. This is with uh, uh, Diane Reevely. She has this little device. She calls it a journaling block. And it's hard to see it, I think, in this light. But here it is. I'll try to put it sideways. Sorry for the glare. It's got a curved part along here. It's got a nine inch ruler along the top of here. You can use this as an acrylic block for your stamps, but what she does is she also uses it to create uh, outlines and patterns. So this particular page, actually both these pages, that's what I did here to create the border. This is her technique, and really I use Sharpies. In fact, this entire page, with the exception of the background colors, is done with Sharpies. Um, and I just laid this down, traced it around, and went on the inside to create the border. Um, I used a couple of stencils that I just outlined with a black sharpie and then I filled and down here this is a rubber stamp as well I used actually this to put the rubber stamp on to stamp that in and then I colored everything with sharpies um, including this figure here and I just doodled inside so you can see this is what the page looks like without any uh, color in it, just a black Sharpie. Uh, and with the exception of the outline here, I didn't use a Sharpie to stamp that border. I used a, a permanent black ink, uh, ink pad. But everything else is done with Sharpie. And I haven't finished this page yet, but I want to show you the comparison between the two. So really, a Sharpie and this little thing works like a charm. So the other thing other inspiration I've been getting in the last little while comes from a, a man who lives in England who has a channel on YouTube called Mike Deacon. Mike Deacon 
is fabulous for inspiring you. He has all kinds of ideas. His stuff is fantastic. So I highly recommend that you look up Mike Deacon's uh, videos. He also, I believe, has a, a blog and he has a store on uh, Etsy. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But what Mike has started to do is he's been issuing us what he calls Mission Inspiration Challenges each month. We've had two so far, uh, one in January and one in February. And he posts these on his YouTube site. He's got a YouTube site dedicated to this, so look it up. It's called Mission Inspiration. And he posts a, a cute video, uh, sort of in the Mission Impossible style, where he gives you instruction that instructions about how to create that month's page. And here's an example of, of the one he created in January. And he lists 10 items. In this particular one for January, he said you had to apply patterned under paper or tissue, then cover with a thin coat of gesso, use at least two rubber stamps, add torn strips of book text, add three collage elements, add three colors of your choice, make marks with white or black paint, add a quote or phrase, add doodles in black or white or both, add drips or splatters. And then he actually does a page using all of these to show you what he has in mind. And away you go. So this was my effort at this particular one. So I used all the elements and I created this uh, effect. I only did this, I usually do double page ones, but in this particular one I thought I'd just stick to a single page since it was the first challenge I had done with him. And I kind of like the way it turned out. Um, that the idea of collaging with magazine uh, pictures and inter, uh, laying them over top of each other I know is not a new concept, but I really haven't done much of that. And I did it this time and I think I'm going to do it some more. So that was his January challenge, but he's also had a February challenge, and this was the February challenge. Now in it, he asked that you apply two colors with your fingers, add torn magazine uh, advertisement, and I think I've got the wrong page up here. This is not the page. <laughs> I don't think that's my page. Okay, where's my page? Uh, well, shoot. Must be in one of my other journals, but whatever. Um, I won't take the time right now to find that, but you get the idea. Just looking here to see if... I don't know where I put it. Okay, it's in one of my other journals, but don't worry about it for now. Um, I'll show you this one, though. This is one that I did with my art journal class, and I think it turned out really neat with that. But I've already talked about Mike's uh, challenges and you can find those on Facebook but here's something that I really like that comes from him as well he produces on his Etsy store uh, a bunch of collage cutouts they're very reasonably priced they're about uh, 1.80 pounds because uh, he's English and I'm Canadian so they translate it to about three dollars a set and you get about three or four pages in each set so this set is called I think Madam Butterfly and you see you get the overall image plus you get the parts that you could use to create that image in whatever way you want and it comes with little strips of, of uh, phrases that you can also work in with it and there's another set steampunk kitty or cat or something is called and this set and this so they're really quite nice you download them they're digital download and you cut them out and do whatever you want with the individual pieces. So you see I cut some of that out already. So I downloaded about four sets of these and I used one set on this page. And I really like how it turned out. Um, so his images, free for, uh, once you bought them, you can use them whatever way you want to use them. And really, you create a nice work of art. I'm really pleased with this page. So I'm going to use more of his as well. So that's Mike Deacon. He's a great inspiration. There are many, many other artists uh, doing art journal uh, books on uh, YouTube, as I'm sure you know, but they all are inspiring to me, and I'm just loving doing art journaling, and I'm hoping the things that I have shown you inspire you as well. Have a good day. Bye-bye.